In this short overview video, we will take a look at our new breed of concrete reinforcement tools for Revit 2023. These tools are based on a completely new framework and interface. Our new rebar tools contain some exciting new features that directly interface with new technologies that Autodesk have implemented within Revit 2023. Let's now begin by taking a look at our new Navigate Rebar ribbon tab. On this tab, we have three new tools, beam, column, and wall. We also have some visualization tools to help us automate the appearance and display of rebar within Revit views. We will now take a look at the beam command and some of the new technologies that appear in all of our rebar tools. With all of our tools, you can either select the element first or pick the command first. In this case, I've selected this beam first and then on the context ribbon tab, I'll select our navigate beam tool. In our beam reinforcement dialog, you'll notice that we're going to generate a single link. This is going to be a H10, and in this case, I'll use shape code 52. The distribution of the links in this case is set to three zones, and I'm using a percentage, but I could also use a length if I require as well. I'll switch back to percentage in this case, and you can see the spacings are set to 200, 300, and 200. The top bars are generating as H16s, and in this case, we'll change the count to three, and the bottom bars are H20s. Again, I'll match that to three. And then I'll select apply to apply that reinforcement to our selected beam. The beauty with our modeless dialog is I can then directly select a similar type of beam and select apply again. And of course that reinforcement is then applied directly to that new selection set. Even though the beam reinforcement dialog is open, I can go back to our Navigate rebar ribbon and ask Navigate to show this reinforcement unobscured and you can see both those beams have been reinforced within a few seconds. Another massive benefit of all of our rebar tools is we try and modify the rebar rather than recreating it where possible. So let's just take a look at that in action. What I'm going to do here is actually open up a drawing view and we'll take a look at the details on this particular drawing. So you'll notice here that I have ground beam 5 that's already been detailed and reinforced. Here you can see I have a section view. Notice the bar marks different. I have bar mark five at the top, bar mark six at the bottom. And if we take a look at this, you can see that I'm generating five H16s in the top layer and five H20s in the bottom layer. What I'm now gonna do is activate the view and I'm gonna ask our beam reinforcement dialog to read the settings directly from the beam. I can now see that this is a named setting that I've saved previously called ground beam five. As we've said, we'll change the top bars here to H20s. And then I'll go ahead and select save. Navigate's informing me that this reinforcement is only applied to this single element, but it's going to be saved with ground beam five. I'll select yes. And of course I can now see all of those details update automatically. If we go ahead and look at the sectional view over here, of course we can see that the bar marks have all updated. So that's a huge benefit. And as I say, that works the same for all of our reinforcement tools. Let's now take a look at some column reinforcement. In this example, I'll select our command first, and then I'll select the column that I want to reinforce. You can see that the column reinforcement has a similar look and feel to the beam tool. Let's now set links in pairs for our column. For the distribution, we'll just have one zone, and here I'll use a length. We'll set the length to 1500, and for the main reinforcement, I'll leave this at H20, but I'll generate four bars either side of the column, and I'd like starter bars, so I'll select starter bars here, and we'll select H20 for our starter bar. For the lap, I'll set this to 50 times diameter. Now what I'd like to do is save this as a name setting, so I'll click save, and I'll name this C1. We can then apply this setting to our selected column. What I'd like to now do is apply this column reinforcement to similar columns. To do this, I'm now going to use propagate rebar, so let's go ahead and select our rebar. So we'll select the element here, and you can see now that will actually select all of the reinforcement bar inside that element. And I'll use our new Revit tool called Propagate Rebar. I'll select a line to host, and I'll select all of the columns that I'd like to reinforce. The beauty with this method here is it uses our same name settings. So let's now visualize that reinforcement bar. And perhaps what we'll now do is we'll make a change to those starter bars. Notice we've still got our name setting open here, C1, 
So I'm going to go back and change the starter bars from 50 times diameter to 40 times diameter. I'll then directly save those name settings. Navigate then informs me that these settings are used on three elements with C1. I'll select yes. And instantly you can now see our Navigate rebar tools are updating multiple elements simultaneously. This is a massive time saver. Let's now look at a wall reinforcement. So here you can see that we have three walls. Again, I'm going to apply some reinforcement to this wall here. So in this case, you can see that I've selected the wall first. I'll then select our wall reinforcement tool from our context ribbon. So here's the wall reinforcement dialog box, and you can see it has a very similar look and feel to all of the other tools that we've already looked at. So you can see here we're generating starter bars at the top and also U bars at the start and the end of the wall. Again, we can simply select apply and all that reinforcement will then be generated. As you've already seen, we can go back to our navigate rebar tool and show obscured to visualize that reinforcement. So there's a very quick overview of our new rebar tools and the new mythology we're using on all of our future tools that we generate within navigate rebar.